And sure enough, here we are 45 days into it and we got a four and a half million dollar buyer. So the big question is, what are the top agents doing to absolutely crush it in real estate, grow their teams and add more transactions year over year while so many struggle? If you ever thought about this, you're not alone. No one has been able to get the answers until now. We spent the last few years helping agents sell billions in real estate, rubbing shoulders with top producers, which got us thinking. How can we expose more people to these insights to help raise the standard in the whole real estate industry? We then realized that we could help bridge the gap by getting secrets from the best of the best so that you can succeed. My name is Andrew Dunn. And my name is Peter Michael. Welcome to Elite Agent Secrets. Why did you launch a separate channel for the luxury? Why not create a playlist or segments or something in your initial channel? You mark... Now go ahead. You want to answer it? Before, I want to add one thing because this is very much about to dive into topic three. For everyone listening, we're going to now discuss what is actually possible in 12, 15 months, you know, less than 15, 12 months. Uh, because Levi and Travis, like we discussed in the opener, but we're going to dive into it so a bit more granularly. As you've just touched on, you've now got multiple channels because you're like, holy shit. Like they've done a million in GCI for everyone listening, a million dollars in GCI, like that's yeah. the top percentage of everybody in the whole of the US, right? Small team, you know, a couple of guys running the show. And um, how big is your team just out of interest now? Well, ne- well, our local team or our rev show? Local team now we have, uh, we actually have 10 agents now because, uh, and eight of them already have deals under contract from our YouTube channel in the first two weeks of January. Uh, as you mentioned, we already have 425,000 in commissions pending in, and it's, Jan- it's January 20th for this year. So you think about that on, you know, we did what we did last year in, in nine months. Imagine what's going to happen this year. Uh, and we've got a full head start. So that's the, that's the that's the game changer. We had to bring on these agents. We didn't initially want to do that, but the lead flow right now, we didn't have a channel established last December and January. It was just starting. There was nobody was calling us last December and January. And what we're seeing now is we're averaging almost eight calls per day because people are people are prepping for spring and summer. So now we're getting all those preppers in addition to literally like locking up 30 deals within the first couple of weeks of January. I mean, there's people moving right now. I mean, it's it's absolutely crazy. And if this is any indication of what this summer is going to be like, remember last summer, our channel was just starting to get off the ground. So now we're like full steam ahead. And, and we had to bring on those agents just to offload these leads because we we can't keep up with them right now. It is, and we, and here's to your point. The reason we started multiple channels is because it's, you, you target the audience you want to attract. And what I noticed was that we were capping at our buyers at about a million and a half. Nobody really over a million and a half was coming in from the channel, but it makes sense, right? Because I'm focused on 500 the million dollar neighborhoods. I'm wearing t-shirts, you know, I mean, in my videos, I'm, I, I don't look like a luxury agent, so it makes sense. And, uh, but we needed to master that market first. And then, you know, that's where we started to say, okay, we want to step up. We want to move into the luxury market. Well, most people will tell you, of course, especially the old school agents will be like, well, you can't get into luxury until you've had five or 10 years in the business. You know, you have to earn it. And it's like, no, nah, we're just going to go take it. Right. So, so it's all about marketing. And so we stepped up, we completely looked and made a different channel. We hired a videographer. Now that's a difference. Videographers are expensive and I don't recommend that at all whatsoever to start your channel. Again, I still shoot the regular channel with my iPhone. But a luxury channel, you have to have a different look. We're wearing suits. You know, we're driving high-end cars. We're going to multi-million dollar properties. And so it was a completely different look, a completely different strategy. And there's three main parts of that. I won't disclose it. But the first goal was to attract a luxury buyer above $3 million. That's exactly the number one goal. And you have to have a goal for your channel. So the primary goal of our first channel was, can we make the phone ring? Period. That was it. We weren't, we didn't care about subscribers. We didn't care about ad revenue. We didn't care about any of the vanity metrics. 
The only goal was, can we make the phone ring? So that's it, period. This for the luxury channel was absolutely, can we attract a buyer above $3 million? So what do you have to do? You have to feature homes above $3 million. Well, how do you do that? Well, you've got to find some people and you've got to have a completely different angle on that. And sure enough, here we are 45 days into it and we got a four and a half million dollar buyer. So, um, you know, and now we're going to have proof of concept and how to launch a luxury channel because, you know, it took a lot of the same fundamentals and principles from just starting a real estate YouTube channel. But there are a couple of different, you know, tweaks and, and uh, different things you have to adjust if you want to step up. And again, for the shorts channel, short form content is completely different from long form content, different audience, a different attention spans. So I didn't want to dilute uh, our main channel with short form content, but it all works together and it all directs traffic back to that channel as well. So it's an ecosystem that we've created and there's several other things that I've done uh, behind the scenes on top of that. But, you know, so it's just part of the process. If somebody already has like the financial means or maybe they are in the luxury space, can they just bypass like creating a normal channel and just go straight into luxury if they got some, you know, got some money to throw at it to kind of Yeah, with yeah, with people? the model, yeah, with the model we've done, absolutely. So, and that's something, you know, as I mentioned before, we you know, we we built a course around this how a regular real estate agent whether you have no experience or not, could build your channel with an iPhone. You know, we we have that. But now we have the model to do that in the luxury. And, you know, I mean, we could offer that as a luxury course, but absolutely. I mean, this is this is what we're working towards. There's two other goals we have with that channel. And that's really um, we need to achieve those as well to, I think, solidify the proof of concept. But, you know, if we keep closing four and a half million dollar buyers, then, you know, who cares? <laughs> Do you want to put the goals out into the world on the podcast so we can hold you accountable is a question, Levi. Do you want to people to come back and we bring you back in a year and be like, Levi, did you hear that goal? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I, I think they're pretty simple to figure out, but yeah, you know, I'll, I'll share it because I work from an abundance mindset. I don't work from scarcity and I'm not, I'm not worried about it. So the main goal from luxury is that number one, we wanted to attract luxury buyers, period. Okay. So goal number one, number two, you want to gain enough traction to where we want other agents in our market reaching out to us and saying, Hey, you make badass videos. I just got a $5 million listing. Will you make a video for us? Number two. And number three, you create so much traction in your market that the sellers reach out to you directly and say, why would we work with anybody else when you make badass videos? I love it. I fucking love, I love it. it. <laughs> Levi, I want to give you the floor. You've touched on, you've got an awesome team, global team, I know, because you're with EXP as a we, which we love, which I think also compounds into like leveraging time to get money so you can go away on your vacations to the Bahamas and still get paid, which is great, which is exactly the reason we're here too. But Tell people what you've got going on, whether it's phone, email, socials. I know you've got a program. I know you've got your YouTube. Like, how can people reach out? How can people get in touch? How can people learn more? People listen. They want to crush it on YouTube. There's basically no man better to go to. So tell the people what they want to know. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, just go to fivestarstrategycall.com. That's fivestarstrategycall.com. And you can uh, plug into my next call. Actually, I, I usually do them Tuesdays and Thursday nights. And so that's where I give an overview of everything that we've worked on and everything that we've done through YouTube. Uh, I give a, a brief overview. And then af- at the end of that, I, I provide some options if people are interested in uh, working together. So you know, it's a, it's, it's no pressure at all whatsoever. I mean, I, again, we're an attraction based business, so I, I don't chase anybody yeah. down. I'm not going to drag anybody to, or try to convince them to work with us or try to hard sell them. You have to be in a position where you want to make a change or you want to do something differently, but you plug in, you go to five star strategy Uh, I do weekly calls, um, you know, two, two per week, unless I'm hosting other training, uh, classes or programs and you can get an overview I, I, and I do that live. So I, and I hold Q and a at the end as well. So again, I, I don't really hold anything back. I put it all out there and you know, of course it's, it's all free. They can go to, you can piece it all together yourself. I mean, if you go to our YouTube channel for the real agents, 
I mean, a lot of it, a lot of it, the information's in there, but it's a lot to piece together. And again, it could take you months to do that like it did me. And I just help people shortcut that process. And I also want to say real quickly that, you know, Travis, I know I mentioned him a couple of times in here, but has been absolutely instrumental in the business as well. And, you know, it's something that I wouldn't have achieved this amount of success I believe with anybody else. And he, I needed him, um, you know, as a, as a partner, we're, we're 50, 50 partners uh, in this business on everything. And so, um, and that's allowed me to really focus in and dial in on YouTube. He handles the real estate business, but he's also one of the absolute best closers and negotiators I've ever seen in real estate, which is why we were as successful as we were, because, you know, in this market right now, Things are moving so fast, and this isn't the market of two years ago. You know, it's not. Um, it's not go look at ten homes, think about it over the entire weekend, and then come back and choose one of the ten homes because they're all still sitting there. You know, uh, this is a completely different market. Negotiation matters, and so you have to be on top of your game, and you've got to beat out ten, twenty, or thirty other offers. So, how are you going to do that? And Travis is the absolute best at that. I mean, uh, he he crushed it, and he's still crushing it. And so now we're you know, helping other agents, you know, learn how to do that as well. Cause it's one thing to bring in the business. It's another thing you have to close it. And to me as an agent, you should be doing two things. You should be producing content and you should be negotiating deals period. You know, other than that, you can really, you can get a transaction coordinator. You could get a showing agent. You could get um, admin to do all the other menial tasks. Now you may not have the financial means to do that in the beginning, but that's the goals you should strive for. You want to get to where you're producing content and negotiating deals. And we're going to try our very best to get Travis on for all our listeners to kind of cover off the other half of this dynamic duo who have fucking crushed it this year. So Levi, thanks for jumping on with us today. Thanks for sharing. You've just delivered so much value. Everyone needs to listen to all these episodes about four times to pull everything out. But it's been great having you on, mate. It's been a good time. Everyone, we really hope you've enjoyed listening to it as much as we have. Oh, and by the way, if you're interested in gaining access to our courses and coaching programs, then head over to go.eliteagentsecrets.com. 